Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing all really, really well. Um, if you're new here, then hi, my name is Rama and I do men's fashion and beauty videos. So if you like the kind of stuff, then please make sure you subscribe and also follow me on my Instagram. Now in today's video, I'm gonna film like a first impression of a Vichy face mask. And um, to be honest guys, Today's video is going to be very casual, very like comfortable, so make sure that you are sitting comfortably, make sure that you're nice, warm, nice and warm, wrapped in a blanket and have a hot coffee or hot chocolate with you because today the video that I'm filming actually is a Sunday, which is actually my day off, which I'm really happy about and um, honestly today's weather is really, really grey, dull and it's just raining non-stop, it's just grey and it's 3 o'clock and already it's dark, so I hope these lights are kind of helping me to film this video. Honestly, if I didn't have these lights, I don't know what I will do because it gets so dark quickly here in London that it's very impossible to film. Like even if you wake up in the morning, like 10 o'clock, it's dark. So honestly, today's weather is really crazy and um, maybe not the best day to film a video, but I wanted to film this video because I wanted to try out a face mask especially a new one which I haven't tried before and today is Sunday as I said my day off and uh, if I have a nice day off I like to call it as a pamper day Sunday pamper day to really do all the pampering myself and uh, I just like to do it it's one of the things that I always do it on a Sunday so I'm later on I'm gonna do my brows I'm gonna um, obviously take a shower and stuff like that trim my beard and also at the moment I'm have a face mask face mask a hair mask I have a hair mask on <laughs> on my hair so um, excuse if my hair looks a little bit flat and a little bit weird is because I have a hair mask which is doing its magic for a good three hours I don't know if it's supposed to leave it for that long but I like to keep it for as long as possible for hair mask but anyways today's video is the first impression of a face mask and particular one is one from Vichy now honestly I have did I try anything from Vichy? I think I've tried a few of the products in the past, like sample sizes, but I haven't really got into the brand as much and um, this is an uh, introduction for me to the brand and it's the Vichy Mask Peel and it's basically a double glow peel mask. Um, I really, really want to use a face mask today, obviously as a Sunday pamper day, it has to be a face mask, it's a must for me, so I was like, you know what, let me just film a video and I do a first impression and also try out the new face mask, this has been sitting in my kind of skincare, um, how would you say, skincare dash for a very long time, and I was like, you know what, today is the day that I'm gonna use it, so in terms of Vichy, Vichy is one of those brands that you will find in Boots, um, you also will find it in some pharmacies. Now Vichy is more like this kind of pharmacy brand type of a thing. Um, their yeah, skincare is not um, affordable, it's also not um, expensive, so just, just kind of in between kind of price ranges, similar like La Roche-Posay or um, Bioderma, so this kind of price points that is from Vichy. That's how it looks. This is like a sample size and uh, I have been sent the sample size so it's a 15 ml size which is um, very nice and very good size because these kind of sizes are very good if you want to try out something and you don't want to go and splurge the money on a bigger tub if it doesn't work out for you so these kind of sizes especially a face mask is really handy and it's also perfect for traveling so what is the purpose of this face mask? So I'm just on the Vichy website and it says that the glow mask is designed to improve the look of dull and tired looking skin with a double peel action. Fruit acid HA, which is the alpha hydrox acid, remove dead skin cells while volcanic rock um, accelerates the mechanical action of exfoliation to the skin surface. Impurities are eliminated and the skin appears brighter and more luminous all right so they have aha in this um, mask as well as the fruit acid which is the ha and the volcano rock so the key dermatological ingredients which is aha in this face mask um it also got the volcano rock and it got the classic most traditional vichy mineralizing thermal water which is the kind of the standard um water that you'll find in most Vichy uh, products, which is kind of the base ingredient. 
This smells divine. This smells like a perfume. Oh my god. It smells very rosy, very fresh, very clean. Oh. It smells amazing. Honestly, the smell of this I am in love. So the key benefits of this product is food acids HA creates a double peel action that removes dead skin cells, refreshing gel texture with a light fragrance of cassis, apple and white musk. No wonder the white musk inside because the white musk is one of my favorite notes in everything. And um, impurities are eliminated, skin appears brighter and more luminous, suitable for sensitive skin and is 100% hypoallergenic and is tested on sensitive skin. So the one thing about I like about Vichy, their products are very uh, sustainable source. Now they kind of make sure that the sustainability are very ethical. All of the ingredients that they found are very kind of um, re responsibly sourced from all over the world. And uh, also they are very good with the environmental. So in terms of the packaging, in terms of the uh, ingredients that they make sure they're very ethically sourced so this is kind of that commitment that I really like about Vichy. Vichy takes the sourcing of the ingredients extremely carefully and extremely um, very seriously they're making sure that they have a track of every aspect from the um, sourcing from literally from the buying process all the way to the ingredient to the supplier so that's the thing I really really like about the Vichy but anyways enough with the rambling and let's get on with the face mask so that's the mask and honestly guys it smells so great it smells so delicious it smells like a fragrance oh, love it but anyways so I got my mirror in here so I'm gonna take a little bit of it now as the texture is like a gel don't know if you guys can see that it's like a gel consistency which is very nice and very different and it's a peel off mask I guess so let's see how this works I'm very very curious and interested so I'm gonna take some put it in here avoiding the eye area can you guys see that? does it give a color? it has nice like a nice rosy tint Obviously the um, gel has also a nice rosy tint, so I'm guessing this kind of appears onto the skin, but it's not too bad. It's like a transparent color. And let's do the other cheek side. To be honest guys, I have dry skin and if my skin, obviously I'm not wearing any kind of moisturizer, my f face is freshly washed and I'm not wearing anything so my skin is at the moment very dry uh, I always have dry skin especially in this winter month it gets even drier but my skin I think it drinks up this product honestly uh, it drinks it up but the smell of it whoo -hoo, it's strong the smell is very strong but I don't mind it at all because I love the smell the smell is great I love it, it smells like a perfume Alright you guys, so I have applied it everywhere onto my face. Obviously I have avoided the eye area which is stated on the packaging as well. And also I avoided my beard because um, I'm going to trim my beard later on and obviously things get very weird down here. So I just avoided the beard area because I just can't be asked to be honest. And also on the packaging it says that, um, where is it? Apply and let it sit for 5 minutes. Uh, then massage gently with fingertips, rinse off with water, use once or tw two times a week as needed. Avoid eye area and stuff like that. So, very interesting because, um, where is it? Double glow peel mask. Double glow peel mask. Oh. Well, the packaging is a little bit confusing because I thought it's like a peel-off mask. Um, <laughs> well, it doesn't say off, so I, it's a peel mask. So you have to leave it for five minutes. Aha! Uh -huh. Now things make sense. <laughs> so double peel-off mask. All right, so you leave it on for five minutes. 
you don't peel it off as normal peel off mask um, as I have used in in the past. Uh, you leave it on five minutes then you massage in the excess I guess and then you uh, rinse it off with water. Alright, so I'm gonna leave it for five minutes and uh, let's see how things will go after five minutes and I have to read the instruction more better next time. Alright you guys, so five minutes are over and um, in between those five minutes I kind of felt a little bit of tingleness going on. I felt like something is uh, working something is kind of boiling you know you know when you use something on your face and something tingles and you know that something is working or is doing its thing this is what happened with me five minutes ago basically so um where's my mirror as you can see the my skin has um taken a lot of the product from the inside so it's still the residue I can still see the residue there but it says now to uh, massage it with your fingertips I guess uh, do, 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 then massage gently with fingertips so the five minutes are over which I'm gonna do now is gently massaging it in with my fingertips like so and I mentioned about the smell, that the smell is very strong, the fragrance in, inside the product. However, in between those five minutes, the smell was gone. I couldn't smell it anymore, uh, which is fine. So if you are a bit skeptical with fragrance, then this product is fine because obviously you um, won't smell it afterwards. And, oh my god, I'm just peeling it. Well, it's kind of peeling. It's very strange. I'm obviously not. I'm. I'm being very rough with my fingers. So let me be more gentle onto my cheeks, gently massaging it in. Okay, nothing happened in here, but onto my nose there is some peelingness going on. Oh my god! Even on my forehead. Okay, very interesting. I've never used a product like this. So I zoomed you guys a bit closer and I don't know if the camera is picking up the um, disgusting looking um, skin surface peeling thing from the face mask. Uh, can you guys see on my nose it kind of peels off. So the product is peeling when you're rubbing it like rubbing it gently and even onto my cheeks especially here around the nose and obviously look at the forehead it's completely peeling off when I rub it in. So yeah, very interesting. I've never actually used a product like this. So I guess I have kind of peeled. No wonder it's called a peel mask. It's not a peel off mask because once the product dries you have to rub it in and then it peels so the peeling kind of exfoliates as well as get rid of the dead skin cells that you may have and makes maybe your skin softer and smoother. We shall find out. Let me go and wash it now all off with warm water then I will be back. Alright you guys so I am back and I washed my face and oh my god my skin feels so soft, so smooth and oh, it feels very glowy. I can see it from the mirror and honestly I, I am loving it how my skin feels. It didn't dry out my skin, it didn't kind of exaggerate my redness which I have sometimes around my cheeks and sometimes on my nose and sometimes here on the forehead. Um, it didn't exaggerate the pores that I have and it left my skin very soft, very silky, very smooth and it feels amazing to touch, especially my forehead and um, it didn't felt very stripping so my skin feels at the same time clean as well as nourished at the same time it's because I think the freed acids is full packed with um, kind of hyaluronic acid I would say or something like that so my skin feels very amazing but overall what do I think about this product now to be honest it's it's a nice product it's not something that I urge you guys to go and purchase it I mean it does the job it's the first time I've tried a peel mask like that because obviously I got very confused as we all know in the beginning because I thought it's a peel off mask which is not um, so obviously once you rub it in it kind of peels 
and at the same time it kind of exfoliates and stuff like that so it was a very interesting concept for me so maybe that's why it's kind of new for me and that's why I'm not like blown away with it however it does the job if it does make my skin very nice and glowy and very nice and fresh looking um, this is great if you have a very special occasion like a last minute occasion or party to go to so it's a very quick fix me up product if you want to kind of judge up or kind of look put together and so on it's not that I'm hating this product it's just that um, this product is, is okay it does the job as I said and uh, it's not something that amazing or mind-blowing and um, I'm glad that I have like a sample size of it so I'm gonna definitely use it up and maybe next time I will fall in love more maybe it's obviously it's the first impression so I have to give this product some time maybe tomorrow or maybe in a few hours time my skin feels different my skin will have uh, improvements or something like that so if it does I'm gonna obviously keep you guys updated maybe I'm gonna pop it down in the description if something happens definitely check out the description for any updates I'm gonna write it down and updates in big capitals for you guys to know so obviously with skincare it's a bit different and obviously everybody's skin type is different so it does work differently on every skin type or concern so obviously as a face mask it's a first impression so I can't really judge it as much but at the moment I am okay with this product I'm not loving it but it's all right it does the job and um, to be honest I'm not I'm not hating it I love how my skin feels I can't stop touching my face okay I need to stop because it feels very super silky smooth and soft also at the same time it feels hydrated it's not very like dry and something because sometimes when I use a face mask my skin feels very dry afterwards especially with clay mask because obviously it's this clay however this is like a gel consistency you and you guys can see how kind of nice and gel type texture this has so obviously you would assume that your skin might feel soft afterwards when you use this product so um, as I said with the sample size you will can also get a sample size kind of in a trio pack which is great because they have two other type of face masks that you can use um, if I can I'm gonna leave a link in the description of that trio pack face mask so it's a very good kind of discovery face mask set if you want to get into the brand and if you want to try a face mask out from Wishi also uh, this comes in a bigger size if you're interested so it comes in a 75 ml and that retails for 15 pounds which is not too crazy expensive so it's kind of up there in price in general but um, 15 pounds is very good because obviously you can try it out and um, it will last you for a long time the 75 ml because since you don't need to use a lot so I suggest actually to go for this kind of trio pack because this will last you quite a few uses now let me just see this might me last for another five to six uses or something like that so definitely check out the kind of smaller trio set which i'm going to leave a link in the description all right you guys so this was it with this review video of the wishi double glow peel mask and uh, do let me know if you guys found this video very interesting and informative so if you did then please give this video a like that means a lot to me also do let me know in the comments what other kind of other wishi products i should try out next is there any kind of wishi products that you are really loving and using for years do let me know in the comments down below as well and also follow me me on my Instagram at Ramabakshi where I always post kind of skincare updates kind of new in skincare and new in beauty fashion and also um, many more things that I'm gonna introduce next year hopefully so definitely go and check out my Instagram because I'm always active on Insta my DMs are open for any kind of answer like questions um, if you guys have any questions I'm gonna definitely answer them in there so the next on the list is to trim my beard and also wash off this hammer so my Sunday pamper day is not over yet I like to honestly spend the whole day pampering myself because I just love it kind of calms me down and hope you guys all do it as well so yeah thanks so much for watching guys until next time I will see you all in the next video